Hello, greetings. This is March 21st, uh, the Beehive Production Users Call. Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Hi, everyone. I invited Glenn in, who contacted me via email about the state of Trunas. And so I suggest we do a quick introduction round, although all the regulars know each other. Glenn, uh, you contacted me, so you probably have a good idea about who I am. I'm with Punk.de. We do hosting on FreeBSD. I'm a FreeBSD user for 30 years, since 1993. I have held, of course, not alone, but with my company, two EuroBSD con conferences, and I'm a regular presenter. And I really prefer running my workloads on BSD instead of Linux, and I like to keep that until my retirement and beyond. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for uh, for uh, inviting me to this meeting. Um, as uh, Patrick here introduced, I'm Glenn Dovke. Um, and uh, I've been using, you know, all kinds of uh, flavors of, of Linux and various BSDs over the years. Um, and also been building uh, various uh, custom appliances on, on top of both. Um, and uh, personally, I've been using uh, FreeBSD for router platforms and, and also TrueNAS Core uh, for storage stuff. Um, and with the recent uh, uh, the recent announcements from from uh, from IX Systems with with TrueNAS Core that got my me you know really concerned i was like patrick he he is the one that is appears to be very uh active in in the trueness community and i i decided to reach out to him and say how can we how can we do something about this uh, so that's that's why i'm here great uh, yes, as I as I told you in email, there is already sort of a project going on, but the people involved ask for a couple of weeks, probably before they go public with any announcement or something like this. Mostly, mostly former IX employees, and I guess they are thinking about the the political implications of of a fork and how to not start a project that will fall short in a very short period of time, but get gain some momentum and really will be a viable alternative to IX systems. Apart from that, um, does anybody have any topics that are more beehive related than revolving around IX systems and Trunas again. Well, we're a little, I guess we got a few more people in here. We're a little lighter in people, I think, than we usually are. A lot of our regulars aren't here this time. So I'm not sure how much stuff we're gonna have today. So if you want to talk about it, I say talk about it. I'm a bit confused by the uh, top of the document, right beneath the meeting guidelines. Are these notes topics for today, or is this historical stuff that just happens to, to be in there? Because it's referring to the 2018 videos. Nobody knows without Michael. Keeping the notes is very much a Michael thing. So yeah, 
So, yeah, sure. I, I can only report one single thing. Um, the, the next TrueNAS release, which we will still be getting, will definitely be based on FreeBSD 13.3. And 13.3 uh, introduced many Beehive fixes, specifically loss of USB support for Linux guests and stuff. So uh, we will be able to work on that platform uh, in production with Beehive for another year or two to come. And then nobody knows what happens once uh, FreeBSD 13 reaches EOL. That is my main concern with IX because if uh, we don't get it, TrueNAS platform with uh, FreeBSD 14, 15, and, and so on, and the FreeBS, FreeBSD 13 will definitely be the last, then support for jails will, of course, terminate once the packages are removed from the package building cluster. You can still run your own put your air, but then at one time, even port builds will fail on an EOL release, as is frequently the case. So that's that. Um, yeah, sorry, I I have nothing to add, and if nobody else does, I guess you will have to to join the next uh, call, Glenn. Do you, know, do you um have a link to this to to these announcements? I'm not that familiar with them. Yes, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll add them to the document in a sec. Thank you. Uh, this is John. Um, I have an oddball question. Um, I was attending one of the meetings, a ZFS meeting or the Beehive meeting, a couple of weeks ago, and someone mentioned uh, a company called Liquid, and I was just wondering if they were on this particular meeting. Um, I realize it's off topic, but I appreciate it. Okay, what, what are they doing? Uh, Liquid is a company that is producing a PCIe bus expansion mechanism. Um, basically, it allows your you to create a expansion box, for instance, that has you know, 12 GPUs in it. And then you uh, can take that expansion box and you connect it to a PCIe fabric that you can then connect to your various hosts. Um, and thus you can assign, for instance, GPUs uh, to your hosts without having to have them in or located in the local box. Okay. That sounds great for virtualization workloads. So and you can assign resources dynamically. Uh, yes, it uses uh, uh, PCIe hot plug technologies to to make this work. Which, um, and I'm I am asking because I may be involved in looking at this and want to you know making sure this works with with uh, at least with FreeBSD as a uh, a target host uh, where we would. Uh, have a, a PCI device added. And I remember someone mentioning liquid in one of the prior meetings and I don't, uh, I, I just don't remember who mentioned it. I need to, maybe I need to search the, the notes better. Hey, anyway, that was it. I appreciate it. <laughs> sorry. No idea. No, there, nothing to be sorry for. It was a, <laughs> I recall it being discussed. I don't recall who brought it up and who had experience with it. Right. Isn't Liquid the same company that made the, uh, the what is it called, the Honey Badger uh, storage expander uh, plug-in cards? I don't know. Because I, I recall, I mean, from time to time, I watch some of the, you know, the Linus Tech Tips videos just for, <laughs> for the comedic value, but <clears throat> there were talking about they had a uh, their their insane storage needs uh they they had a um uh, i think it was a performance dell a power ed server and it had like four of these honey badger cards where they were just yanking in a lot of eight terabytes in gme storage drives and then they could create like a i don't know 50 
and terrified pool of, of high speed in VME storage. Um, and it was a company called Liquid, I think it was. It probably is because, I mean, ultimately NVMe is basically just PCIe anyway. Yeah, yeah. So since this is the uh, Beehive meeting, I just, you know, I don't really have a whole lot to add. Sometimes I'm just a fly on the wall, but I will state that my uh, my Beehive systems that I've been been using are they continue to work quite well, and I haven't had any uh, any any problems, so to speak, uh, for a number of months now. So I'm I'm quite quite pleased at the time. Okay. So shall we call it a day? At least for us here in Europe, it's definitely the end of the workday. <laughs> sure. <hope. laughs> okay. That's ah, lunch over here. So, okay. Um, cool. Then uh, see you in a week, probably. Okay. Yeah. The Easter yes. holidays are just another week after that. Right. Is there a meeting? Is there a meeting tomorrow for something? Um, there's and there's Asia, Asia BSD con starting. So you might want to. Chime in. I don't know if they live. Does anyone know if they live broadcast on YouTube or, or only after the fact? I don't know. Okay. We we'll um, like to make Michael's presentation, of course. Ah. I would like to see it. Yeah, he's he's talking about uh, virtualizing Windows workloads with Beehive. If I got that right. Yeah, I've worked, I have done a little bit of work virtualizing Windows under Beehive a couple of years ago, and it was a, uh, I, I remember it being a bit rough. I have both our uh, domain controllers running on uh, TrueNAS Core. Okay. Is that running well for you? Yes, perfectly. I think it's improved quite a bit. Yeah. Even given the state that Beehive in current TrueNAS Core is in, I'm um, very much looking forward to the new release. Okay. Because it, yeah, the Trinus Core current version is based on FreeBSD 13.1, so the Beehive in there is FreeBSD 13.1 piece something. They they don't uh, update individual components after initial release, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Well, Glenn, it's good talk to see you guys about, for, the, for a few yeah. minutes. Glenn, talk to you another time, and um, I hope yeah. Michael led you to the, to the list of email addresses and I'll keep you posted about future meetings. Absolutely. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, you know, looking forward to, you know, see what's what the end result of, of the whole TrueNAS course thing is going to be and, and see, if, you know, some of my experience can be plugged into to um to to the whole thing going forward great then bye and uh, be seeing you take care bye bye, -bye. yeah thank you welcome and bye <laughs> see ya.